if you're not going to rely, rely on us as the currency of choice, then you are not going to be able to do business in the United States. You know what they're going to say? I love the dollar very much, every single one of them, because we are losing that. You know, China is trying to take that away from us. And I'll say, by the way, I'll say the same thing to China. Like I put a 27.5% tariff on cars from China. So they haven't been able to pillage our country and close up our factories and lose our jobs. Otherwise, they'd be selling cars in here like hotcakes. Mm. And if you take a look at what they're doing to Europe, China is, is destroying the, auto, the automobile business of Europe. So I'm just trying to understand how you're going to pay for all of this no tax on stuff. And you said that there's a lot of fat no, no, in government growth. that you're going to no, save. No, I said, money. I gave you an answer, growth. growth. We're going to grow yes. at a level that you've never seen before. Mm, okay. And we're going to have tremendous jobs, and we're going to have companies coming in left and right, and they're going to be build, building factories. They're going to take over empty hulks that are all over the place from companies that left. But you've also said that there's a lot of fat in government that you would want to slim Incredible down. Incredible fat. So, so what agencies yeah. would you want to shut down? Well, let me, let me uh, have you ask another person that, because I'm going to have Elon Musk. He's, he is dying to do this. You know, he's a great business guy, actually. You think of him for science and rockets, and every time I think he's telling me about a new screw that was developed, he's developed a new screw. Screws are difficult, and it's made out of titanium, and it's so exciting. But you know what? He's a great business guy, and he's a great cost cutter. You've seen that. And he said, I could cut costs without affecting anybody. So he will be in the cabinet? Not in the cabinet. He doesn't want to be in the cabinet. He just wants to be in charge of cost cutting. We'll have a new position, Secretary of Cost Cutting, okay? Elon wants to do that. And we have incredible people. He's running a big business. You know, he can't just say, oh, I think I'll go into the cabinet. You know, other people can. He can't. But Elon's a little bit different in that sense. And besides that, I want him to send the rocket up to Mars. He said, we, he's made me a promise he'll get to Mars before the end of my administration, which will be long before, hopefully, China or Russia. I created Space Force. First time that's been done since the Air Force. Air Force was the last. It was 81 years ago. And I did Space Force. And when Biden heard, oh, he left, he thought it was so funny. He didn't understand. And we tried to end it. And the military went down on him. You wouldn't believe it. It's now going to be one of our most important things. We were getting killed in space by China and by Russia. And now we're leaving in space. Coming up, just moments ago, Elon Musk's SpaceX successfully launched the Starship rocket as Musk continues to be at the forefront of America's space exploration. Watch this. We have left on. Coming up. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.